Hello everyone and welcome. This video demonstrates how to manage image files in Exposure. We'll show you how to browse images on your computer, add folder bookmarks, adjust image metadata, and organize image files and folders. For the demonstration in this video, we are using Exposure. If you don't already own Exposure, our award-winning photo organizing and editing application, you can download the free trial from our website. Exposure's user interface uses customizable workspaces which help you stay focused by showing only the tools needed for a particular activity. For this demonstration, we are organizing images in Exposure, so we'll use the Culling workspace. The Folders panel shows the bookmarks on your computer. Exposure doesn't use a catalog, so the organization in your file system is the same as what you see in Exposure. The Folders panel lists bookmarks. Bookmarks are folders that are saved for quick access. Exposure has bookmarks set up by default. The desktop folder, documents folder, and pictures folder. Reveal any bookmarks subfolders by clicking the triangle to the left. You can keep disclosing subfolders to explore the entire library. You don't need to create a new bookmark for every individual folder you work with, just the top-level folders that contain your photos. Click the plus button at the top of the folder panel to create a new bookmark. A dialog will appear for you to navigate to a folder of images. If you want to remove a bookmark, select it and click the minus button, or right-click and choose Remove this bookmark from the menu. You can also create a bookmark by dragging files into Exposure from the Finder or Windows Explorer. When you drag an image to Exposure's window, it will make a bookmark for the folder with that file. You can create a subfolder by right-clicking a folder and choosing New Folder from the menu. Rename it by right-clicking the folder and choosing Rename from the menu. To delete a folder, right-click it and choose Move to Trash. You'll be prompted to make sure you really want to delete it. Be careful, this will move the folder, along with all the files and folders that it contains, to the trash or recycle bin. The grid in the middle of the screen shows you the files in the selected folder. The Include Subfolders button at the top of the panel controls whether files in subfolders are shown in the grid view. I'll turn it on and more files will be revealed. Exposure can work with JPEG, TIFF, and DNG images. It also works with PSD files when the PSD was saved in Photoshop with the maximized compatibility setting. And with raw files from a wide range of DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Click the provided link to see a complete list of supported cameras on our website. In the lower right is the Metadata panel. Here you can view information about your file and define several fields. You can rename the file, set your personal information, crop, and set flags, ratings, and color, as well as add your images to any collections you have created. You may also assign keywords to your image as well as apply a keyword set. Exposure also displays the keyword library. You can assign a keyword simply by clicking on it. You can also adjust the capture time. You might do this if you were shooting in a different time zone and forgot to adjust your camera's time settings, or if you shot with two cameras that were out of sync. You can adjust the time field by adding or subtracting days, hours, minutes, and seconds. These changes are applied to any images you have selected. Exposure gives you tools for organizing files. You can move files between folders by selecting them in the grid. To move, drag them into another folder. To copy, select the files, then click and drag the files while holding down the Option key or the Control key on Windows. Then drop the files on the destination. To cut an image from one location before pasting it to another location, Select the image or images and choose Cut. 
a dotted line appears around them and you can paste them to another folder. You can also drag files to Mac Finder or Windows Explorer folders to open them. Holding down Control while dragging will copy the file instead. You can also drag photos from exposure to some applications. To rename, right-click the file you want to rename and choose Rename from the menu. To rename more than one image at a time, use Exposure's Bulk Rename feature, which enables you to change the file naming fields like Capture Time to synchronize images between cameras. Duplicate a file by right-clicking and choosing Duplicate. You can also create virtual copies, which enable you to experiment with editing several variations of the same photo without filling up disk space with duplicate image files. Delete by right-clicking the file and choosing Move to the Trash. You'll get a confirmation dialog every time you delete, so be careful. You can delete multiple files at once by selecting the ones you want to delete and then pressing the Delete key or right-click anywhere in the selection and choose Move to the Trash. Finally, if you want to see the file in the Finder, right-click and choose Reveal in the Finder. Windows users will have an option to show a file in Windows Explorer. I have been demonstrating these file operations using Exposure's File Grid, but they also work in the film strip shown while you're working in a single image view or when you right click in the main preview area. And that completes our lesson on using the tools in Exposure to manage your image files. They are great options for controlling where your images are and a whole bunch of data pertaining to them. Thanks for watching. Learn more about Exposure over on our website, exposure.software. Also, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube for more helpful videos.